So you lost an eye. It was bound to happen sooner or later. You have always been quite an adventurous type. Going to Australia without a hazmat suit. Finally fulfilling your sexual fantasy about Edward Scissorhands. Being too successful at catching a drumstick at that Oasis concert. Being too successful at catching your third cousin's bouquet at her third wedding. Going to a local grocery store at 2 a.m. Buying apples and tequila and deciding to arrange a little William Tell reenactment with your LARP and friends. Getting official nails for the first time and being too successful at catching a tiny fly. Deciding to finish your scarf while listening to relaxing sun yoga meditation melodies and not hearing a stewardess say, please fasten your seat belts, we're entering a turbulent zone. <sighs> Life is full of opportunities. Now, when your painful agony is over and you have changed your driver's license, what are your options? First one, a patch. First of all, how dope does this look? Everyone who sees you knows you're either a pretentious cosplayer or someone who will not hesitate to slap a bitch. This can become a starting point of developing at last at least some sense of personal style since you got a quarter of a James Bond villain aura on your face already, you wake up one morning. Put on your usual chill morning bits to wake up to. You brush your teeth with your special Ultra Mega Max Cleans toothbrush. Your dentist has sold you for royalties. You look up in the mirror and you see a toothpaste stained eye patch. And suddenly it strikes you. You know what would be a fantastic way to get my own Wikipedia page? World domination. You know, nothing of history, economics, logistics, geography. Your people's skills are so rusty that the tannic remains look just out of foundry next to them. But you have already shifted an average number of eyes in the human population and that was just the first step on your path to glory. And you think about the grand parades in your honor, sending that fat fuck Kim to a nursing house, burning your face on the moon with a nuclear blast, a man on the moon, paying a hooker to get a plastic surgery, and look like a middle school crush. Outlawing people who shop on a Christmas Eve and carry a bag of size like they're climbing Mount Everest and who are not able to comprehend the concept of culture exchange right until... Oh, I need to pay. Right. Just one second. Let me get my wallet. Mrs. Zork? Yes, Mrs. Zork. I understand, Mr. Zork. Oh, I, I'm so I, I'm so sorry, Mr. Zork. Yes, yes, Mr. Zork. Okay, okay, Mr. Zork, I understand. All right. Okay. You know what, Mr. Zork? You'll be the first one to get the bullet. However. We all know how these stories end. Some white prick 
with a square jaw, nice eyebrows, light five o'clock shadow, boiled chicken only diet, and an entire to so far on his face will burst into a citadel while you're savoring your big panda soup and playing laser tag with your white tiger. The Hollywood star will be crashed. The portraits of your face looking dreamily at a 32 degree angle as if you spotted the last box of paprika pringles in your supermarket will be burned. The Nobel Peace Prize will be bought by some old trillionaire collector who is so fed up with frivolities. Buying a second hand golden beer coaster from a mass murderer is his last escape from banality. But there is always another way. Maybe not now as of 2018 but in the nearest future I'm sure. Another beautiful, marvelous, fantastic child of robotics and air biology. An artificial cyber implant. Beautiful, a beautiful, shiny thing whose barely audible whiz so endearing in cyberpunk movies would drive you crazy in two hours after installing it. Zoom, infrared, ultraviolet vision, your personal HUD, augmented reality, camera, facial tracking and recognition, so that you won't be able to pretend like you don't know your old classmates when you meet them in the street. And you can be absolutely sure the government or some mega corporations haven't installed any chips in here to track your location, biometrics, visual, etc, etc. But I have already talked about it. But what if I told you there was an alternative to pathetic death and public humiliation or losing your humanity? God, I hate this phrasing. Actually, I personally would love to get myself a couple of implants. I mean, ideally, I would just move to some hot rubber body altogether. Well, I'm off to a date. told you you don't have to submit and fall prey to this millennia old bad cliches. Leave the thing bare. Just an empty socket. What that son of a bitch scar would have looked like if Disney didn't try to make everything PG-13. Become the one-eyed, one-horned, flying purple people eater you were destined to be. This especially works if you lost an eye in a near-death experience. You know, when you lost not only an eye, but like half of your face with it, and maybe some parts of your body, and like maybe someone else was injured. Ooh, a sewing mill, how fast it... Oh, fuck! Someone is talking shit about you, you give them one look because that's the exact number of looks you can give right now anyway and it'll shut them up so good they won't dare to send you a therapist bill for their PTSD treatment you would have an ability to walk through the toughest districts of Caracas untouched the hole in thy head is thy shield people will look at you and think that is Da Vinci of self-esteem. Clean Eastwood of accidental deformities. Akira Kurosawa of absent depth perception. Instant charisma boost. Instant. So if anyone falls in love with you, it will be for your fake personality. Not for your fake eye. Well... You know the drill, comment, like, subscribe and share with the world so that more people 
who would witness this. the moon my ass come on does this look like a face to you who was the first idiot whoever came up with this man on the moon 